Main part of green living is getting dirty and then getting clean. <laughs> Sauna, cold plunge pool, fantastic. <laughs> Now, this is um, Shane, you might have formerly known him as well as director of um, the Urban Grim Fair. And actually, this is also one of his products. So, I'm a man of many skills. Um, Shane, how, how long have you been involved in this green gathering? And there's quite a history here that I'm actually going to have to catch up and get a long story from you. But if you were to give us a shot. Oh, God, since things. it started in the uh, early 90s, mm -hmm. um, I did the speakers for it, mate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when it started. Okay. <coughs> and I've known the people who've been involved with it through the Green Party since okay. well before that. So yeah, I've been involved okay. since it started and yeah. just started. And they're really kind of from, from what I understand they they are they they're kind of the foundation of a lot of the green initiatives that are going <coughs> on in England, isn't that right? Yeah, I mean the Green Gathering sort of came out of well, the political the Green Party and also out of the green fields at Glastonbury. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so it is aimed at a much more sort of hardcore, cool. deep green, if you like, perspective. Yes. Yeah. There's a gathering for like minds to get together, see familiar faces, strengthen the networks. Um, okay. And on the other hand, it's a major place for campaigning groups to get together okay. and for us to see the skills that we're going to need for you know, an age with energy power down and peak oil comes as well, it's coming and the price of energy goes <laughs> up and up and resources. up. Yes. Mm -hmm. This whole event for three, three and a half thousand people is not using any fossil fuel at oh, all other than right. a bit of gas for cooking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but pretty much everything is renewably powered. What should one expect? So if you're an outsider wanted to come to this event next year because we're planning for this to be an annual event, what should they expect? What kind of stuff would they, would they get to see in an event like this? Shane? Um, well, it's sort of split up into lots of different zones, the green crafts, campaigns, permaculture. Shane at um, the Urban Green and um, St. Clair also leads the London Green and um, and this is the Green Gathering so you know it's all kind of all in the same kind of thing so I just thought I'd make that quick introduction. Oh hi Kia, how are you? Are you here with your family? I am. Okay, where are they? They are just going to do some work in the children's area. And the reason I ask is because this is really a family event. Sorry. Uh, this is um, very much a family event here. We've got children, um, we've got grannies, um, and have we got any animals? I haven't seen any. Uh, we have some, we have some um, guard hamsters in the cycle okay, area. There you go. So it's yeah. very much a family event, yeah. is what I'm saying. We've got things for children here, and what else do we have? Sir? What do we have? We have crafts, permaculture, speakers, herbalists, um, and lots of friends. Hello, Mum. 